Welcome back to Theme Park Wizards. Today we have special guest, Wicked Virtue, Amanda, with her own Twitch stream. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Fantastic. Tell everyone about your Twitch because we gotta we gotta make sure you're like the best Twitcher ever. Um. So I yeah I stream on Twitch four days a week. I, I normally play the game Dead by Daylight. It's a horror game, but I also like Nintendo, you know, Mario Kart, all that stuff. Um. But yeah, we have fun over there. If you're if you're on Twitch, you want to come say hi, come chat with me. I love I love new people, meeting new people. Everyone, subscribe. She will entertain you by getting scared on horror games. So do yes. it. Everyone loves it. <laughs> and she just got over to Florida. She's never been to a Disney park and only been to one universe. Oh yes, two Universal parks. How was why what made that decision? Oh, at Universal over Disney. Yeah. So it's like, more he, like. Well, it was kind of a hard decision. So when I came, originally came, when I went to Universal, I wasn't living over here. It was uh, for my birthday, and I was gonna do. I was only here for five days, so I had to decide if I was gonna do Disney or Universal. Uh, part of me wanted to do both, but I'm like, I need a lot of time for both. Like, I can't just do like, especially Disney. Like Universal, two days was enough, but I would have loved three. Mm -hmm. Now that I live here, I have more time to, you know, go back. But for, for Disney, I definitely didn't think that just a few days was going to be enough. Like, that's like a whole, I mean, between all the parks, I just wanted to go to one park. But yeah, mm -hmm. um, so that was a big factor. Price a little bit, but I mean, I mean, Disney's pretty expensive. If I wanted to go to all the Disney parks, absolutely, it would have been a lot more than Universal. But um, like, if I would have picked maybe like Epcot or something, I probably would have bought the same price. But and it was the, the you know, the licenses that they have for Universal 2, all the characters and stuff. Like, I love Spider-Man. I could not wait to go on the Spider-Man ride, the Jurassic Park stuff. It's it's so awesome over there. So that's ultimately what helped me make my decision. I, you know, they're, the licenses that they have, you know, all the Universal, like, you know, franchises that they have. Awesome. Mm, so did you get on a Velocicoaster? I did, and it was amazing. It was great. Now, the, the Spider-Man ride is my favorite, but, like, Velocicoaster is right up there. That's mm -hmm. Most people would say that's their favorite ride once they go on it at Universal. It's so fast. Like, it's insane. Like, I had, like, my hair was, like, covering my face, so I couldn't really see. So I was just <laughs> racking up, but, like, because I didn't, it made it even more scary, you know? Like, if you close your eyes when you go on a roller coaster, it makes it more scary because you don't really know what's mm -hmm. happening. So it's like, I'm like, trying to like see and i couldn't I'm like darn i should have put my hair up but i mean really the ponytail probably would have just flew right out so it like, would have yeah it's a very fast ride but it's so awesome like i was cracking up i think that i haven't <laughs> that hard on a ride since i was a kid wow that's yeah that one looked incredible it i've is. never the could. queue is awesome too like we were waiting to go in oh it's great the animatronic raptors yeah i love that. those mm -hmm. are my favorite dinosaurs but yeah. yeah, so I've only been to Disney World once. Oh. A long time ago. I've never been to Universal Orlando. So I gotta get back to Orlando. Oh, yeah, you gotta. You know, it's like only over there, but I still got to. Yeah. You went to the Universal Studios Florida, too, right? You know, you did the bar cop thing. Mm hmm. Yeah, Universal and the Islands of Adventure. Obviously, I did both parks. It was it was great. Like I said, my favorite ride was Spider Man, though, because it, it has like the 90s vibes. I love. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge 90s nerd. That was my generation. That's, you know, that's when I grew up. So, uh, you know, and they had the Daily Bugle. Do They they have that one, right? They had the Spider-Man ride at um, California? They do, but it's different. It's different. It's, uh, okay, I remember uh, OG it's, telling me that. Yeah, it's the MCU version of Spider-Man. Oh. So there's no Daily Bugle in there. And it's, uh, no. it's like a Toy Story Midway Mania type of attraction. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. this one is awesome. It's, it's got like the comic book vibes and everything. Like it is, uh, the queue is awesome too. It's the daily bugles, what the queue is, all the desks and everything. It's so cool. Yeah. That one's definitely like some Toby Maguire vibes. I like yes. that. Whole scene, I loved it. it looks oh, great. Toby is my favorite Spider-Man. He is the only Spider-Man for me. <laughs> no, I like this. <laughs> the other ones did good. The other, the other, you know, I liked Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland and everything, but it's just something about Toby. I was so young when that, you know, it's in the, the nostalgia, you know, he was the first real like live action Spider-Man. So I think a lot of people love Toby. Toby is it's my boy. Yes. 
Exactly, exactly. We came out of the portal on No Way Home. I was like, yes. Oh, yeah. I, sc- I, I screeched a little bit in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> that's you. The OG. I love it. Man. Yeah. Do you like Harry Potter? I know there's a lot of Harry Potter over there. Um, I'm actually not, I don't dislike Harry Potter, but I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, but I, I will say Harry Potter land. I thought it was incredible. And I'm someone who, who hasn't seen all the movies or read all the books. So mm-hmm. for someone who isn't super into it and thinking and being very impressed, I can imagine like super fans just losing their minds going over. The, it was beautiful. Mm-hmm. The, um, I, the only, I didn't get to go on Hagrid's motorbike because the two days I was there, they were working on it. So it was closed. I was like, oh, oh man, I really yeah. wanted to go on it because I heard that's yeah. a great ride. Um, I went on the castle one. It's like a 3D one. And that was, it was a really fun ride. I enjoyed it. But oh, yeah, yeah the Wizarding World, uh, Diagon Alley is very cool. The dragon with the flame mm-hmm. coming. Oh, it's so cool. Did you go on Green Gots? No, I didn't. I didn't. on the bank either. No, I missed that one. I'll catch up. Hey, now that I'm here, I get to catch up on all the rides I missed. Um, I also didn't go on the Hulk roller coaster. I got to go on that one. Oh, yeah. That one's it. And then, you know, let's see. We got got King Kong, Jiong Lao. Oh, yes, I did. I loved it. The the end of it, they have the huge animatronic King Kong head because you had, like, the glasses on for 3D stuff. And I'm like, wait, I took them Mm -hmm. off. I'm like, it's really there. I was like, (laughs) it was so cool. It was awesome. He's like breathing on you too. Oh, it was awesome. See, ah, I wish we still had our King Kong animatronic here. Oh. Uh, what's up? Do you prefer 3D attractions or, or non 3D attractions? I hate 3D um, attractions. I'm not a big fan of 3D. Like, I get it, certain parts, it's kind of cool, but like, even mm-hmm. in theaters, I don't go to the theaters to see 3D movies. I don't like it. It mm-hmm. kind of messes with my eyes a bit, too. Yeah. yeah I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan oh, yeah. of it, no. Man, because they see here in Hollywood, our forbidden journey, the castle attraction, they took away our 3D, and it's so much better, in my opinion. Oh, that'd you be know, really cool. See, I would get like that. It, and then, you know, there's no glasses, there's nothing moving. You just, you just get on it. It's fantastic. To speak, uh, and there's another ride. Was it to speak for me? I think they took away our 3D, too, and it was great. So I wonder if I hope they'll do the same thing at Orlando, because 3D is horrible. Yeah, um, I'm not, not a fan of it. Mm-mm. So, you never been to California or never been to California's theme parks or have no, you I've never been, been to California, California period. Never been here. No, wow. No. Greater. I would love to go. I also would love to go to Knott's Berry Farm. I want to go there so bad. You should. I can't believe you just you're a traitor. You went to the East Coast. <laughs> dead. Yeah, At I know. All. I gotta get there. Never been, never been to beaches. Nothing crazy. No. Mm-mm. So you're coming it's on here on the bucket now. list next year. I would love to. Yeah, it's on the bucket list, especially since Nintendo Land's gonna be there before it comes here. Like I need, like I gotta get there. Yeah, Magic Mountain. You know, Knots, Universal, Sea World, Legoland, all the major chains right here. We gotta get you to Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. I would love to go to Disneyland because that's you know. Uh, I've, I said this on OG's channel, but that's like because Walt touched that. You know what I mean? Like he worked on that, so that makes it like a little bit. I wouldn't say it's more magical, but very. I'm very interested in that. You know, I want to see because there's rides. Like how many rides are still there that he worked on? Are they all oh, still see, there? Or I think, yeah, I think just about every the one he worked or not all of them, but um, like the major ones. You know, like he's working on pirates. He's working on haunted mansion a little bit before he died, and the fantasy land ones. Yeah, the core ones are still there, and they're in great shape. You have got to come visit them. I do, and the Avengers Campus. You guys got the Avengers Campus. I want to go there. Right. We have the Avengers Campus and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. You love it. You like Tower of Terror? Yeah, I've, I actually, I've never seen that. I got to watch it. It's on my list. You've I know. Never, I, I know. Never, I know. You've never been to Disney Bar. Just kidding. I asked you like Tarot Terry, and you're like, "What the heck is that?" <laughs> um, no, yeah. So, wait, is it a movie? Wait, is it not a movie? That's a movie, right? Or no? It's not. It, it well, it was a riot first, and they made it a movie, and it's okay. It's, I thought you know, so. It's kind of like it's like it's like one of those direct to TV streaming. Okay, movies. so that's probably it's why like, I never saw it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the riot, the drop tower ride, and. I just realized oh. I moved into Hollywood Studios, so you 
don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, Guardians of the Galaxy is our Tower of Terror. We had a Tower of Terror, then switched to Guardians of the Galaxy, part of okay. Marvel Games. And it's great. You gotta come. There's so I many do. characters. What's your favorite Marvel character? Spider Man. I love Spider Man. He's my favorite superhero, period. But yeah, I, I, I love Spider Man. Yeah, so while the ride may not be the greatest, we do have like a Spider Man show where there's you no know, animatronic leaps over the thing and flips around and comes oh, back. Oh, that's here. cool. And then you can like meet and do like a meet and greet here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's yeah, that's, that's, that would be very interesting. Let's see. Spider Man stunt trunk. Boom, 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 boom. So yeah, so he, he leaps over his own little building, and then he um, recordings just hold on, and then and then he comes down for a little meet and greet, and that's cool. It makes up for the ride being yeah, so, right. That does. Right. I'm just surprised that they don't have the ride that they have here. You know, you would think they would replicate it because it just goes over so well. Yeah, you know, it's or you, you would think that you know. Because see, before they filed this patent for a like a a suspended swinging type of thing, and we all thought that was gonna be for Spider Man, and um, then it wasn't. So uh, what was it for? Are you? I don't still... know. They haven't oh, used it okay. Yet. But I was thinking, man, like you're swinging through practical sets of New York City, so cool. Oh yeah, they really met, but, they missed on that one. And then so so here is the building. That's Spider Man, right? Then here's the crane. So he goes, he pops over, and he and he leaps over his little thing, and that's about the coolest thing out there. Oh, that is really cool. And that's an animatronic. That's like yeah. wow. Then he pops down the side of the building and takes pictures with but Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I would love that. Like and then the ride's cool too. Then you know the pre show's cool. It, Mm, but then you know it's just yeah you will you'll hate it compared to Orlando so you went on the better version so yeah sure. yeah <laughs> yeah the the rides I really I love I don't think I had a ride that I went on that I didn't like the Simpsons ride was a little meh like they could they could definitely do away with that one I mean I went on it to go on it same with the uh, the Jimmy Fallon ride um, that was a 3D ride like it, it was a fun time but I'm I probably wouldn't go on it again. Um, how yeah, about like uh, Fast and Furious Supercharged? Is that one still there? I didn't go on that one. I must have missed that one. I don't. <laughs> That's so I bad. I missed that missed one. It. It's That's saying, see, two days wasn't even enough. I only had the Fast Pass for one day as well because of the, it was just expensive. Um, but hmm. let's see, the, I went on the Men in Black ride. That one was a lot of fun. That's a good one. Yeah, no, the... it's okay. You missed Fast and Furious. That's like the worst ride there. Is it that probably is why I didn't go on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like I said, it's so bad that Jeep didn't even know that. <laughs> but, exactly, <laughs> I but, missed it you know, completely. Yeah, Rip Ride Rocket. You like that one? That the, one is that a water one? It's the red roller coaster. And I didn't go on that one. Oh, wow. interesting. I that that's one like too. A, like, the icon. That's like like it's like the really tall one. Mummy was Mummy under refurbishment, or were you still able to go on it? Oh, I was, um, mommy, it wasn't there. It was on a refurbishment. Oh, no. Good thing you're so I know. Cool. I know. I, when I go back, I'll catch all the ones. I also want to do the water rides. I didn't do any of the water rides. Um, so when I go back, definitely and on did the you, list. Um, did you check out Volcano Bay? Yeah, I did. Ah, oh, I'm jealous. I always want to check out Volcano. The place looks gorgeous. It is. Oh, Tell God. It's it. beautiful. Tell me all about it. Volcano Bay. Like, that's yeah. that's the Islands of Adventures, right? Like, that's no, a massive view. Oh, wait. That's the water park. Oh, I, okay. Hold the on. Park. There's like a wave pool and a volcano in the middle. With all the slides come out of it. Oh, okay. So I didn't. Uh, it's Volcano Bay. Hold on. Did I wait a minute? Hold on. Let me double check here. Did I go there? Oh, that is the water. So no, I didn't. Okay, so I didn't go into Volcano Bay because I didn't do any of the water rides. But I did mm -hmm. see it. It is, it's beautiful. Like seeing it from the outside. But no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't go in because I didn't do the water rides. That's on the list. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, that's- but yeah, no, I got confused. I was I was thinking of Islands of Adventure because that's also beautiful. There's a lot in there that's that's mm-hmm. great. Yeah, no, sorry, I got confused. But no, 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 I didn't do Volcano Bay. But that's the next time I go, I want to. I I like water rides. I mean, maybe not all water rides, but some. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's I I gotta get on. I gotta get there. But yeah, I wasn't uh, I wasn't trying to do because I was doing stuff at night afterwards. So I wasn't trying to get all wet on the water rides. So mm-hmm. you know. But yeah, Gorgeous. next time yeah. for sure. I've got, so I, you didn't go on anything at Toon Lagoon then? No. Mm-mm. But you saw it. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it looks cool. It is. It looks cool. Even like the little Popeyes area, mm-hmm. like his, like that. It's it's a little more for kids, but it looked so cool. And I loved Popeye when I was a kid. So I had to go on his little boat and walk around it. And <laughs> it was really yeah. cool. I heard that Popeyes River Raft ride gets you pretty soaked. Yeah, I heard. I seen. I seen some people like get very, very wet on there. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like quite a drencher over there. Um, mm-hmm. The cat in the hat. One of the few dark rides they have there. It's, it's from videos. It looks pretty good. Did you get a chance to try? It is. It yeah, I did. Yep, I went into the Seuss Landing area. Um, I went. Yeah, I went on the cat in the hat ride. And luckily, there wasn't really anybody in line to go there. So mm-hmm. it was like, not like it would be ruined if there was a bunch of people on or anything. But it was great. I loved it. It was a little dark, but it was cute. I liked it. And in the one ride, uh, I can't remember what it's called, where you go around like Sue Oh, Landing. the little people mover type thing. Yeah, it's like a people mover ride. Yeah, that yeah. was cute, too. Um Seuss Landing was actually really cute. I, I enjoyed it there. I got I got myself like a Thing One shirt and a little plushy <laughs> oh wow see that like merchandise yeah that one's i know that's more for the kids but like i mean come on we all grew up reading dr seuss books so mm-hmm. no there's no age limit to any ride no matter exactly. what no one tells you exactly you like horror nights horror nights uh, yeah i didn't okay so i actually moved here right like in october but because of the mm-hmm. cost for moving and everything, I couldn't afford to go. Tickets are pretty expensive for Halloween Horror Nights. Mm-hmm. But I did go to City Walk recently, like a f- couple weeks ago, right, on the 30th. Mm-hmm. Um, and they had everything on sale. So I got a Halloween Horror Nights shirt and a, a glass. 50%, 20 bucks for a shirt and a glass. I'm like, I, I got to get it. It's got my right. lawyers it on fi- it and stuff. It was, uh, you said 50% off? Yep. So I had yeah. to. I couldn't. Wow. I, in the Universal store at City Walk. City Walk. Oh, I love City Walk. That I could spend a whole day just there. Wow. You know, the yours guys at City Walk is pretty cool. Ours is getting it's better, big. but yours is pretty cool. It is. It's it's beautiful there. I love it. I love City Walk. And it's yeah. free to get in there, so like Mm-hmm. Yeah, our City Walk just got a new Halloween store. Ooh. Oh, it's a seasonal store. But see, our Halloween Halloween, Halloween Horror Nights merchandise is ninety percent off. So I got Ooh, for nice. $8. I was like, That's awesome. <laughs> And there's still some available. Yes, I went yesterday and there's like a row of shirts, 90% off. Incredible. Wow. But, yeah, um, see, I'd get in trouble there. I'd be getting shirts I don't need just because. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're getting our own Tootsums. I don't know if you went to Tootsums over there. Um, mm-hmm. It's this massive chocolate factory, but like the gear, there's like the whole building's like a smokestacks and the gear. Oh, wait are- a minute. Yeah, the chocolate. We have that. Yeah. Yeah, so we're getting our own here in just a few nice. months. Nice. I want to go but, there so bad. Like, there as in Tootsums or there as in City Walk Hollywood. Yeah, I was thinking of, I always think of cho- the Chocolate Emporium with that, but yeah, the, the Tootsums, yeah. 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 Because I love chocolate and I cannot wait to eat it. The chocolate fountain is going to be. Oh, yum. Yeah, yeah, see, now you're making me want to go there right now and get some chocolate. <laughs> I, haven't ha- I haven't eaten there yet because, like I said, it was very, uh, you know, mm-hmm. two days still wasn't enough. That's why I didn't do Disney and Universal because I'm like, I just don't. Mm-hmm. I went to SeaWorld, too, because that, that's you could do that in a day. Oh, how was um, SeaWorld? I loved it. It was so cute in the little Sesame Land. Uh, I took the little one there, and it was it's adorable. Um yeah, I really enjoyed SeaWorld. Um, what ride did you get on? I didn't get to because I had the little one with me. So oh. yeah, I'm actually going to SeaWorld for the Christmas celebration next month. I'm hitting the rides then. <laughs> oh, nice. Going by yourself with friends? Uh, friends, yeah. It's going to be it's going to be fun. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm excited because I do the Rudolph, as you can see. I'm a Rudolph fan. I got my Bumble right here. 
and I can't wait. I'm like, I'm going to give Bumble a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, got to check out Manta and Mako. Yeah, I wanted to go on that so bad. Like, I was sitting there, and I'm like, I don't want to go on by myself. Uh, so, oh, like, yeah. yeah, now I'll be there with friends. Then, you know, can't leave the little one there. So now it'll be perfect. Exactly, exactly. So I, yep, I'm going with friends. So I'm I'm hitting all the rides. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they have a they have a quite a big coaster lineup over there in SeaWorld. They have a a surf coaster coming. You'll you'll get to see it. It'll be quite oh, yeah. like you're surfing along the uh, the tracks over there. Um, that yeah, that looks really <laughs> scary but fun. Like <laughs> most anticipated Disney park since you've never been to one. In Florida, out of the four, which one would you choose first? I want to say Epcot, even though I really would love also to go to Animal Kingdom. Like, it's hard, but I feel like Epcot, everyone loves Epcot. You don't really hear bad things, and they have, like, the drinking around the world and all that. So I think my first stop probably would be Epcot. Well, nice. Well, here's your bad review. I, you know, I'll be the first person that say, I strongly dislike it. <laughs> really? I do. I don't like that place at all. Except for Guardians of the Galaxy now. Then it went up a little bit. Well, Other you know, that, I, I, like I think I all. actually would do... I have to change the answer. I probably have to go with Magic Kingdom first, actually. That wow, makes more sense. Like, I'm well, thinking about it. And I'm like, if I go to one first, I should probably go to Magic Kingdom <laughs> first. Like, I'm, I'm not really thinking... I think of Epcot because I think of, like, the food festivals and stuff. I ah. like food. So that's what I'm thinking with Epcot. So like, okay, Magic Kingdom first. And then Epcot if there's a, when there's a food festival. All right, that makes I'm sense. I'm going to change my answer. Like, it makes more sense when I'm talking about food. That's why I want to go to Epcot so I could eat. <laughs> yeah, see? I, I <laughs> uh, that's great. Uh, they have some great food festivals. Just as great as ours here in a California Adventure has them. One food festival. That's the good thing about Disneyland. You know, you don't have to uh, take a monorail or bus to get from park to park. You just walk across and you're there in about two minutes. In yeah, that's, that's convenient. So which park would be your favorite then? I feel like I, sorry, I cut you off. I think you were telling me uh, your favorite. <laughs> no, Animal Kingdom. That yeah. Yeah, Animal Kingdom, then Hollywood Studios, then Magic Kingdom, and then Epcot. Yeah, that see, was, that that's. Was that sounds pretty good. Like I Hollywood Studios, uh, I would love to go there too. So I I think when I do finally do like Disney, I'll probably try to do two parks one day and then two parks mm -hmm. like the next day because I want to experience it all. I'll definitely go during the off season too since I live mm -hmm. here. You know, I, I you know I, yeah, I know cause... it's probably always busy, but uh, I'm mm -hmm. sure there's got to be at least one yeah, one week like, where it's uh, very mid dead. Mid January, February. <laughs> You got this. Yeah. And then, yeah, sorry, that's what I'm Hollywood, saying. Hollywood Studios has like, what, six things to do, seven. So you'll get that done in, by the 11 a.m. Yeah. So I probably yeah. would do like Epcot and uh, Hollywood Studios the same day, like a short mm -hmm. day. And then maybe Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom. I don't know if I could do those. Those are the big ones. So I might actually not yeah. be able to do those in the same day. We'll see. Yeah, And they're, I think, the farthest apart. Really crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah probably. <laughs> But I will definitely let all of my theme park friends know when I go, so they you should get the full experience, so they know what's happening. Because OG did ask me, like he he thought that I was just visiting, and I'm like, no, I actually moved here. And he's like, oh wow. And he's like, did you go to a Disney park yet? And I'm like, no. He's like, no, I gotta go. <laughs> Man, like Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. You excited for it? Yes, I am excited for. It. I love the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Me too. Uh I, they're, just, they're so funny. They're just so great. Um, but yeah, that's that and the test track. Spaceship Earth's pretty cool, I'd say. But other than that, she can't find any excitement for it. But um, no. it's okay. You know, also because I don't care too much about the food festivals because they have them right here. You know, so I'm like, eh. But for someone who likes the food festivals and drinking all the way around the world, I oh. get why Epcot is. We love by so many people. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see out. if I can make the drinking around the world, though. I, might, I don't know if I'll be able to make that. <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Little, <laughs> sip, little sips until you get yes. to the end. Then you just increase your amount. Yeah, there um, you go. That's a good idea. 
Pandora. Are you an Avatar Avatar fan? Yeah, I like the movies. I'm not like a huge Avatar buff or anything, but I I think the movie's beautiful. I will be seeing the second one in theaters. You got to see that one in theaters. It's going to be uh mm-hmm. Yeah, so I would love I bet you Pandora. I mean, I've seen it on videos, but in person it's got to be just like breathtaking. So I would love to, you know, see especially it. at nighttime. Yes, that's what I hear. Uh, so I hear from everyone that that loves it that it's just gorgeous all the lights. And you gotta get to Magic Kingdom before Splash Mountain closes. So I know, I know. I wonder when that is. I don't know if they have an exact date, but I gotta get there. You should get there before January. They already filed the permit for it, so you should get there before okay. January. Yeah. Before the holiday season's over. Splash Mountain. Are you sad? Are you don't care? It can feel well, it's an it's an iconic ride, so I think it's kind of sad uh, that they're doing that. You know, a, a lot of people are going to be very upset. I mean, a lot of people are very upset. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would love to get there. I hope I can. I might not, but I hope I can get it before it's gone because it's just. I feel like Splash Mountain was one of their first rides, right? Like it's a classic, or no? It's, it's a class, not one of their first, but it's a classic. One of their first modern ones, I guess. One of their okay. big ones. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think I think it, it's. I mean, I guess we'll see. I, I can't really say it's going to be a mistake because they're they're replacing it with the Princess and the Frog, right? Yeah. Yeah, which I do like that movie. I'm like I love Disney movies, so I like the movie. If if they do the ride right, then it, maybe it'll be a good move. But from what I'm seeing on reviews and like what's happening, like what they're going to put there, they might not actually do it right. So. Yeah, it's quite nerve wracking. I I yeah. wish they would get their own nice. Right, guess it's not. So I'm hoping, not hoping, curious with the reason to, you know, layoffs and cuts proposed. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Splash Mountain, will, you know, quietly disappeared. Yeah. yeah. Disappeared. It might. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Universal Hollywood. Ours is much smaller than Orlando, but we have the studio tour. Oh, that's awesome. That's iconic. That's something you can't get anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Um, That's something that's an hour long, and it takes you around literally working movie sets. You can see stars just on the path. Sometimes you see Tom Hanks just chilling right there. He waves the train. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I would love to do that. That sounds like a lot of fun. That is the star of our show, but we're getting some more. We're getting Nintendo Land. We're obviously very excited for that. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Opening March 10th or January, depending on who you ask. <laughs> and then uh, Mario Kart. So the Mario Kart ride, I, what do you anticipate? Do you know anything about it? I know. I do know a little bit because I watch. I have a few theme park friends, you know, like Orange Grove and all, you know, park hopping. Um, so, so I know nothing about it. What would you expect from the Mario Kart ride? Well, I would expect it to be um, like, I guess, like go karts, but fast. Mm. It's Mario yeah. Kart. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. I, I don't know. I mean, I do play a lot of Mario Kart, and you know, I, I like to go fast. So I think most people try to go fast when they're playing Mario Kart. So, um, yeah, that's what I would expect, like some fast go-karts. I mean, obviously it has to be – I get where they would want to be controlled. They don't want accidents and stuff. So I don't I don't know – I actually don't know a lot about the rise. I, I, I know a little bit, but I don't know if it's going to be like you're on a track, like where it's controlled, mm-hmm. but you can control the speed. I'm not sure. Or if it's going to be like a free – uh, ride, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, it'd be cool to have a free ride, but I understand that the accidents, so, so you know, I'm guessing it's not going to be. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. What do you What do you know about the ride? You could tell me. Like, what do you What, what do you want you, versus what you know that's happening? Like, do you Do you, do you want to know about the ride? Yeah, tell me about it. Cool. So, Men in Black, you went on it, right? Yep. It's basically Men in Black. My okay, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Two tracks here, not racing against each other, but racing against Bowser and his crew. With the that's mm-hmm. where the AR go- goggles come in. So Bowser and his crew will be racing, racing next to you in those AR goggles, and you have to shoot stuff at them. And Shells then, and stuff. So yeah, and you'll be next to someone, but you won't be racing the people. But we'll be going as slow as Men in Black does. So expect that. Oh, hmm. 
And then there's just lots of physical sets and, and animatronics. And there you'll be going through different show scenes. Underwater, the, the mansion, haunted mansion thing. Rainbow Road and a few other ones. And then, and then, uh, and then it ends. <laughs> but, mm. <laughs> and, yeah, so no fast, no go-karts. But... No. Still gotta go on at least one time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh yeah, yeah, I would still check it out. It's probably gonna be cool. Admit, like, I'll admit that it sounds interesting, but it just seems like uh, not very Mario Kart, I guess. You know, because you go like yeah. they, they at least just have you going fast, or at least the illusion mm -hmm. that you're going fast. Like, you know, yeah, maybe, like, maybe yeah. hopefully they'll put some fans because you'll be on goggles, so maybe they'll put some fans in there. So you yeah, know. right. <laughs> you feel like you're going fast. Yeah, I, I think it sounds interesting, but. I feel like for a Mario Kart ride, they just, I'm not sure if that's exactly the way they should have gone, but can't mm -hmm. say anything until, you know, I'm on it and I try it out. I might go on and be like, this was amazing. I loved it. So I now have you seen, what, have you seen the current progress of it? No, I have well, not. Let's, let's show you. I've seen, so I've seen a little bit like, uh, like pictures here and there, but I know that they're keeping it pretty close like the whole Nintendo land itself. I mean, now they're probably releasing more, but when it was first like announced and, you know, that they, when they were going to have an opening date and all that, I feel like there wasn't much to see. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so Universal's always very tight-lipped. So, you know, we have yeah, to rely true. on people like us. So let's go ahead and show you here present that a share screen da -da 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 Chrome. Okay. so here's our two sums this is from literally yesterday so up-to-date information oh, okay and, and you pop on here's like some of what our city walk looks like over there okay um, was that a hat store over there um yeah there's a lid over to the Right over there. I, think, I don't know if there's one at City Walk here. I, there probably is. I don't know. <laughs> and here is the entrance to our park. But then we have a little Nintendo store like right there. Mm. But if you zoom ahead, let's actually go to this part. Okay. So we got over here. So here we go. So we have Bowser's Castle right over here. That looks cool. Mountain Bean mm. Pole right over here. Toad's Cafe, which will be right there. And I should just go to the upper lot real quick. Ooh. So you see the co the coins testing, but they, they, they paused it. Not all of this will be like spinning. Bowser will be, uh, no, Yoshi will be moving around. All these are animatronics that you see right here. So the okay. whole land will be moving when you get in there. Like everything. This, is, this guy moves the back pokies. and forth. Yeah, Pokey. Always oh, uh, the, there's the one up guy, he'll be moving. Um, and then hold on, where's Peach? Did I, I didn't get a thing? Yeah, did they have Peach's Castle in here? Yeah, it's to the right. I, I don't know why I didn't film it. Let's see. I oh, didn't. Oh. I think I did because I definitely filmed the entrance. So Peach Castle's right there. I just have to get to the point right. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. That, that, do, that definitely screams Nintendo. Like they're they're doing good with that. I mean, like I said, I can't say anything about the ride. I mean, oh, it does make sense when you think when you think Mario Kart, you think like okay, fast speed, you know. But so yeah, so here's our entrance marquee. That's the warp pipe you'll go into. Peach Castle's okay. right there. Okay, there it is. And it's, it's behind there. There's a better view behind there, but but yeah. Um, Hold on, and I think, yeah, there's a. I'll get you a better view. But yeah, it's a, it's a little tiny thing, but they'll have interactive games, which is cool. They'll make games cool. multi-level, and if you get the little power up band, then and you play those games, it'll connect. Like the coins you get will go right to your Nintendo Switch account, which is cool. If people who have oh, a Nintendo that's really Switch. cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. That's, uh, I mean, I think most people that are going to go to Nintendo Land probably have a Switch. <laughs> yeah. I would so, think so. You get, so that's, you know, a nice little added benefit there. Yeah, but that's yeah, nice. That's nice. It's like, 
It's going to blow your mind. Yeah, I got to get there. Um, and then Epic Universe, of course, you guys will have the Donkey Kong coaster. Oh, and the, I'm excited the, for that. The Yoshi ride, um, which is our Secret Life of Pets ride. Mm, um, we'll okay. have the Donkey Kong coaster in just uh, like a little later than you, but we'll have it eventually. But Yeah, I'm really excited for that. I love Donkey Kong games. You know, and that one, do you know anything about that coaster? Uh, no, I actually don't. I know nothing That's about it. it. That I, one. I haven't been keeping up. <laughs> that one, you'll be riding in a mine cart, right? Ooh. And then you you will, there'll be two tracks. There'll be the real track, which is underneath you, and then you'll be on the fake track. So you'll be, like, jumping, like, jumping over obstacles. Like oh, spiders. so just like in the games. That's all. Yeah. I love that. Like I said, I'm and a big fan like, of the Donkey Kong games. There's a point where, like, you'll switch tracks, so, like, it'll go, like, It'll just hop from fake track to fake track and then jump over the water, go under a waterfall. It looks pretty dope. Pretty it do, yeah, that sounds that sounds awesome. I'm, I love that. My favorite video game of all time is Donkey Kong 64, so I'm, I'm going to be holding them to a high standard. You're <laughs> going to be good. Love it. You're going to absolutely, it's, you're going to go bonkers. You're going to be like, wow, I'm moving to Orlando just because of this. <laughs> I would love to be closer to Orlando. I'm not going to lie. If I was closer to Orlando, that'd be great. But yeah, maybe, you know, I just moved here. So maybe down the line, closer to Orlando <laughs> is the goal. Yeah. I do love Orlando. Orlando is great. And let's see what else. Oh, sh the Kid Zone's closing. You're going to get some more DreamWorks over there. I don't know if you went to the uh, Kid Zone area. Um, and so when I was the Kid Zone, is that where they're making the, like, they got rid of the Shrek 4D, yeah. right? That's oh no, I, that's uh, Minions is going. Yeah, Minions is but, going there. Kid Zone, I don't, I didn't go to Kid Zone. No, I think it's by Men in Black. It's like Woody Woodpecker's ride. Oh like wait, that. oh I did, I did go by there. What am I talking about? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I did go through. I didn't, you know, and that's like ET's right by there too. The ET, yeah, ride, which ET, I went on, yeah. it was great. Yeah. Um, yeah, see, I've got to ref I just got to refresh. You know, it's been almost a year now. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's wild. Yeah, it was January, so almost Ooh. a year. That's when I went. Et. Yeah, you lucky you still have that one. We don't have. I to. know that's the only classic ride left. I I love Back to the Future, so I was I really wish they still had that ride there. But I know that was the '90s, or right that they got rid of that, or early 2000s. Yeah. yeah, that's where uh, Simpsons, at least here in Hollywood, that's where Simpsons is. No. Oh. Uh, yeah, they can is... get rid of Simpsons and bring back the Back to the Future. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. And then did you see any shows? Um, let's see. There was there anything? There was a parade. I caught a parade. There was a cute little mm -hmm. parade. Um what else? They uh, Dr. Seuss, they had some little like, you know, storytelling uh show uh that's it, because I, I mean, I went during an off time, you know, January, wow. so there's not much going on. Um, but yeah, no, it was the parade was super cute. It was random, like just a random parade. While I was walking through. I'm like, oh, cool, a parade. <laughs> so they didn't have that the celebration of water show going on. No, because no, that's no, like a little, it's like a world of color type of thing. Oh, that, that would have been like, cool. No, just just a little Dr. Seuss show and a little parade. That's all I caught. And I saw, they had characters out though. Like that was fun. I seen uh, Beetlejuice. He was like checking me out a little bit, being silly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Betty, was it Betty Boo? No, Marilyn Monroe. They had Marilyn Monroe mm -hmm. out. Uh, I think that was it. Those are the only ones I see. Oh no, wait, Homer and Bart too. Um, uh, nice. Yeah, here in Hollywood, they have like characters galore. Like every second you see them, they have yeah. the people, they have Bride and Frankenstein. Dracula. Oh, cool. We got Marilyn Monroe, Hello Kitty, The Trolls, Donkey Shrek, Fiona. Everyone. I was hoping that Donkey would still be out. I think they're keeping him. He's always talking smack. They didn't have him out, though. <laughs> oh, so I, was like, yeah. I, was like, I want I want Donkey to be mean to me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Donkey, Donkey is uh, <laughs> it's quite the sassy man over there. And uh, we got Snowball over here, too. Aww. Right, in the same type of interactive thing. And the Transformers. Oh, and the Jurassic. Oh, yeah. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. 
the, the raptor wasn't out when I went through, oh, but they had no. the raptors in the queue for the Velocicoaster. That was cool. There's a few of them there. But yeah, no, the raptor wasn't out. Um, and I, I love the Jurassic Park movies. So that, that section was so cool. Just seeing the big sign of Jurassic Park and, and the Jeeps. They had both the Jeeps, so the old one and the, the newer one. Uh, let's see. Uh Trying to think if I'm missing anything else like that. That's the only characters, but yeah, the I, donkey wasn't out, unfortunately. Uh, but like I said, it was a downtime, so I think if I went, you know, during a more busy time, I probably would see a lot more action. <laughs> but uh, I still loved it. That's my that uh, Universal is the first real park I've ever been to, um, besides like Six Flags. So Universal, like as soon as I as soon as I got up the like escalator to City Walk, I was just like. Oh my god! Like it was beautiful. <laughs> like oh, I'll that, like, I don't think I'll ever be able to top that feeling. You know, the first time going to a real mm -hmm. big park. It was amazing. What Six Flags was your was your park? I've gone to the Six Flags. Um, it's it's not in Buffalo, but it's near Buffalo, like upstate New York. That one. Mm -hmm. and oh. it, I mean, it, it used to be really cool because they used to have like the uh, uh, Looney Tunes characters and stuff. They had, like a little Looney mm -hmm. Tunes land. It's been gone for a while now, though, because it goes back and forth. Like it was Darien Lake, and then it went back to Six Flags, Six Flags, Darien Lake, oh, like the ownership, you know? Cool. Yeah, okay. that one. Yeah, That's a um, smaller part, right? It, it is small. Like, uh, but we have the Ride of Steel. Well, we I'm not there anymore. They have the Ride of Steel over there, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's like the big attraction there, the Superman ride. Um, and they have, uh, let's see, the first roller coaster driver when I was a Viper. It's very fast. <laughs> wow. That's, that's I, I, think that's, I, don't, I don't know if that's at every Six Flags, so I'm not sure. Yeah. We have a Viper, but uh, a lot of people say ours sucks. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I was a kid, so to me, I was like 10, 9, 10. So I was like, yeah, whoa, the first roller coaster. <laughs> no, yeah. Yours is pretty, probably pretty good. Ours is really rough, and that's why it sucks. Um, oh, that's like the, the uh, only two. Is, it's a wooden one. Oh, uh, yeah, man. So yeah, we got to get you to Six Flags Magic Mountain as much as I don't recommend it, but you've never been there. So you <laughs> it's something you to try. To. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's, so. like, like if I, you know, I don't know when, but if I can make a plan to get to uh, California, I want to go to Knott's, <laughs> Disneyland. You know, I want to do all the fun stuff. Mm -hmm. World record twenty roller coasters. So yeah, wow. A couple days in Six Flags if, if you're a roller coaster person. I'm not. Yeah. But no, I, I like them, but I'm okay with skipping some. As you can see, like I didn't <laughs> want to look at Universal. I had to do the Velocicoaster, coaster though. I couldn't skip that one. I'm like, I gotta do it. Yeah, gotta try it out. And it was crazy. It was intense. <laughs> the Epic Universe is coming to your neck of the woods. You lucky. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> What is your most well? Do you know what's a rumor to be in there? I know a couple of things, but I would say like I know we've already talked about it. But the Donkey Kong, I like mm -hmm. I said, that's my favorite video games, Donkey Kong sixty four. So I am looking forward to that. That will probably be the first right away where I'm going to go. Like that roller coaster sounds mm -hmm. great. It's like they they took Donkey Kong and they were like, boop, there it is on the roller coaster. Like they did. Mm -hmm. it sounds like it's going to be incredible. So I can, really can't wait for that. And then there's, let's see, there's How to Train Your Dragon, Classic Monsters, and The Wizarding World. Classic Monsters sounds pretty cool. That, that does. Like they they took people, people were upset. They had the, like a Classic Monsters Cafe, I think it was, and they, they closed mm -hmm. it. They quietly closed it down, and people were pretty upset about that. Yeah, that, that cafe is to be right next to the new Minions uh, Mm -hmm. Yep. Right thing. by Shrek 4D. Well, when I was there, they were taking down the sign for Shrek yeah. 4D. So. And then, yeah, so you can see all classic monsters will be over at F Universe, but that land sounds pretty gnarly. It does. It's going to be probably insanely busy for the first like year. <laughs> mm hmm. Like, Can't wait. that will be a nighttime and daytime land. But very cool. Mm -hmm. How to Train Your Dragon. You like that series? Yeah, I've seen. I've only watched the first movie, but I really enjoyed it. I love it, so I probably should watch. It. There's well, there's another movie, and then there's a show, right? Uh, yeah, I think there's at least maybe two or three. Let's see. Or two. Okay. How to train? Yeah, no, I, I got I got to catch up on that. But I did the I loved the first movie, so I yeah, did. there's there's uh, three of them. 
uh, and a Wait, show. Yeah. Okay, see, I thought, I thought there was a show. I'm like, at least I know there's a show in the second movie. Yeah. Are you excited? How excited are you for that land? Oh, I'm on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm 20. I can't wait. Like, <laughs> it's going to be, I think they're going to do a great job. I mean, like, you just, just talking about, like, the Donkey Kong coaster. That, that, that's, you took the Donkey Kong games and put it on a coaster. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, as long as they have great attention to detail like that, it's going to be a hit. And people are going to love it. Universal Disney. You prefer Universal because of the IPs or the yeah. whatever that yeah, is. IPs, yeah. Mm -hmm. As a this, let's see, Disney. There's reservations. Does that like turn you off, or do you not care about those? I mean, it's not great, but I I still want to go. You know, like I'm still I still got to experience Disney. I know there's a lot of people that are very anti going there but i'm like you know what i grew up with it there's the nostalgia factor i need to get there i wanted there's characters i want to meet there's merchandise i want to get there's rides i want to go on so I, I do think it sucks what they're doing they're kind of taking the magic away and the fun away a bit i will agree with that but it's i'm still going <laughs> like if i oh. next year like i i probably will go first but if i really enjoy it i might end up getting like an annual pass because i feel like those do pay for themselves, you know, after a few times going because of how expensive the park tickets are. Um, oh, yeah, they definitely do. You better uh, hurry up and get one before they stop selling. Well, are they going <laughs> to stop the annual passes completely? Because I looked, because when I first got here, I looked. I, I, I got a pass for SeaWorld because it was the cheapest. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, going twice at SeaWorld completely pays for itself. So mm -hmm. I got that one already. I don't have enough for a Universal yet. Like, I just don't have the money for that. I, I did look into Disney, and the only pass i seen available is the Pixie Pass, and that seemed like it wasn't yeah. the greatest. That's the okay. only one that you can get right now. You can't get any other passes. So even if I wanted to get one right now, I can't. Yeah, see, and, you know, the Pixie Pass, it could, I don't know, it could also disappear. Who knows? I mean, um, you know, just here at Disneyland, right, they reopened the the magic key thing and then in 24 hours they're all sold out again so wow yeah, yeah. see the same yeah. thing here then i guess because <laughs> yeah. i was just looking out of curiosity to see how much passes are for florida mm -hmm. residents and all that and yep that's all they had left was a pixie pass which is kind of like our socal resident pass right it's like you get a lot of block out dates but it's pretty cheap yeah it's still the resident can get. yep if I got one, I would want one that didn't do block updates. That's the biggest thing. You know what I mean? If I'm yeah. getting a pass, I want to be able to go whenever I want to go. So I guess we'll have to see when I'm ready to get the pass. We'll have to see what they have available. Yeah, because uh, I wanted to upgrade from my Enchant to Believe key, but I realized I couldn't do that online. I had to go to the ticket booth to do it. And I oh, can't do that because I'm so I might have to do the thing. I might have to so, do the thing. I to get a pass, huh? So I'm like, wow, that's... Um, that's a bummer. Yeah. But um, it's okay now. I'm still going. I'll just pay for a one day ticket because I'm blocked out during the holidays and it's my favorite time of year. Oh, yeah. No, but, that's not you know, Yeah. It's okay. I'll have to spend the $244 and do it all again. Just bite, just bite that bullet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, because holidays, man. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. <laughs> Mine too. Yeah, I love Christmas. That's Christmas. why. I know. I want to try to. If, if anything, I'm going to go to Disney Springs and the boardwalk over here because nice. I know it's the busiest time for the parks. But that's why I got. So I've been told by a few people that's over here, at least SeaWorld has like the best Christmas. So that's I got my pass for that. Really? They the yeah, they have the Christmas celebration. I even got a free few vouchers for like the food festival and I love food. So thank you um, when I got the pass. Um, so I'm very excited. I'm, I'm going to be going in December pretty soon. So uh, like the first week of December is when I'm supposed to be going. Um, so that's why I just went ahead and got the annual pass because it was, uh, it, two, like I said, two trips. It pays for itself, the one I got anyways. And uh, it also gives you two free tickets for guests. And that right there, like it's more, you know, free parking. So Sea SeaWorld is definitely the cheapest out of all the parks here to get an annual pass, probably. Maybe next to Legoland. I didn't look at Legoland. I would say maybe they're about the same, probably. Mm -hmm. But I, I had to. I'm like, if I'm going to go to the celebration, I might as well just get the pass. Because then if I go one more time, even within a year, it's the same price, which I will go more than once. But, um, yeah, so I'm very excited. I'm really looking forward to that, going to this Christmas celebration. 
Yeah, I I hope you post some pictures on Twitter. Oh, I will, I will. I have to. I have Instagram as well too, but I will post on Twitter. But yeah, I post. Uh, I also have Instagram, so I post a lot of pics there too. Uh, yeah, because I'm curious. I didn't know they had the best one over there. Well, that's what yeah. I've heard from a few people. I mean, they have the Rudolph set up, you know, and people love mm. that. And, and they just really, I guess they, they really just like hit home for like that classic feel good Christmas mood. Mm. So, I mean, I'll be able to mm. accurately judge it after I go, but that's what I've heard. Like they have all these like delicious hot cocos. Like they have a bunch of different like, Ooh, that types. Sounds and I'm like, cozy, it does man. sound good. It's a, I mean like cozy. There you go. That's the yeah, word I was looking for. Like cozy, a nice cozy yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Wow. So I will definitely let you know. I'll, I'll review it. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you got to get your reviewer game going on. I, I do, I do. That's true, I do. I should make, I should make another another channel for on YouTube for reviewing, especially if I if I start going to theme parks more often. Maybe, maybe I will. You should, you should. You're so close. I can't believe how close you are. That's incredible. Two hours, right? Yeah. So, so you're gonna, eh, are you gonna drive every time you think, or do you think you'll stay at a hotel or friends well it, it depends like because especially like especially after i which i would love to get my universal pass because you get mo uh, money off of the universal hotels and mm -hmm. that's where i stay because the dock side is actually pretty cheap it's one of the universe the dock side and surf side in orlando mm -hmm. there that i've stayed at the dock side twice and i loved it it's great like it's very convenient they got food downstairs they got a beautiful pool just everything you need they got and it's not expensive it's like it depends on when you go. If you go off season, it's a hundred or less a night, which is not bad for a universal hotel. That's very good. A hundred or yeah. less. Yeah. And so if I had a pass, I would get it even cheaper because when you have the annual pass, you get money off of the hotel. So, but the annual passes are really expensive. So I can't afford that right now, not during the holiday season and after this big move, but yeah. Um, so it depends like this time when I go, I probably will be staying. I'll probably stay a night at the dock side just so that I don't have to rush. Um, yeah, because like it, it's not too bad. Like if you drove up early, went to the parks, and then drove back, that wouldn't be bad. I probably will do that sometimes, but mm -hmm. I want to enjoy the Christmas celebration. Probably have a few drinks, so I'd rather just Uber to the hotel afterward. You know what I mean? Be able to actually enjoy myself and not have to rush and get back home. So this time, yeah. I'll more than likely be staying at a hotel. That's just for the night. Less. That's crazy. You know it, what? The Paradise Pier now, Pixar Pier Hotel is on an off-season day. That's our hotel here at Disneyland, one of the three. It's I would guess it's at least 500 Yeah, 500 And that's yeah. what the fees, after the fees, mm -hmm. it becomes, that's like six-something. And that's yeah. on a random middle of off-season Jan January. So, that's like, probably upwards to, like, a 1000 during the busy season, I'm guessing. Eesh. Yeah, it gets pretty, I think it's, like, starts at, like, 700 but after all the fees, it's, like, eight or nine hundred yeah mm -hmm. and that's yeah I, that's why i tell everybody i'm like if you're coming to orlando and you're going to the parks dockside is great especially if you're going to universal because they have a free shuttle that'll take you a bus it's right near universal too so like, like eight wow. minutes away. see the only bad thing here is we don't have a universal hotel very sad uh, yeah. we have two hotels right next to universal but it's just a hilton and a shared okay room. yeah but I mean, you can, like you can like it's like across the street. You can spit in your Beyonce's Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Universal community hotel. clothes. Oh, yeah. the Universal hotels are great. And they even have little stores in there too. So if you, you know, don't, don't want to stop, you want to get like your Harry Potter stuff or, you know, just little keychains and stuff. They, I, I honestly, I love the dock side. That's my favorite hotel period yeah. that I've ever been at. It, it's great. And they even have, they have like a cafeteria downstairs. They have breakfast, lunch, dinner, good, pretty decent food too. Prices aren't too bad. So I always tell everyone stay at the dock side or the surf side. It's right. They're like the same. They're right across the street from each other. Mm. Yeah. Like sister hotels, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Wow. And how's their pool? The pool's beautiful. Okay. So the dock side has two pools. The surf side mm. has one, but the dock side, so the dock side's a little bit bigger. I think that one's uh, aimed more towards families, you know, because you have, mm. there's two pools. So that when you come with kids, you know, there's more room for the pools and everything like, you know, I mean to play. Mm. Uh, so yeah, that's, I've never stayed at the surf side, but um, it's right across the street. So I've seen it. Um, it's just a tiny bit smaller, but I'm guessing the rooms and everything, they probably look the same. Yeah, I think so. I think it's all patient. They look, uh, 
I yeah, think. I have seen I've seen pictures and reviews actually of the surf site. So yeah. Wow, that's great. Oh wow, a hundred or less. That I still can't believe. I can't believe that. I can't believe it. An off season. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, like even even one hundred and fifty would be good enough. But it's like, and during the busy times, it's I, I don't think it's super expensive because they they just know that so many people are going to be coming and going. They make they make their money, so they. And I think that's very smart because, you know, like families coming, they're going to spend a lot of money going to the theme park. So if they can save a little bit of money on the hotel, guess what? They're going to stay at your hotel. <laughs> yeah. And they'll stay longer. Oh my goodness. That's, that's where I stayed uh, when I came. It was like maybe a little over 600 for the five nights in January. Wow. Five nights? Mm -hmm. I spent uh, I spent less coming here for five days than I did going to New York City for three <laughs> that's uh that's 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 but incredible. new york city is expensive new york yeah that's expensive. expensive but yeah still yeah. wow you blew my mind here you yeah. blew my mind. <laughs> look it up the dark side is a beautiful hotel it's it's like i highly recommend it 600 for five nights see this is why if i ever when i go to orlando i'll do everything but i want to stay at a universal hotel because yep. I know it's cheaper. Wow, yep. that's insane. and you'll save money. Like I said, if you're if you're coming here, you're obviously going to go to Universal. So you stay at a Universal hotel. You also get free transportation to the park. So mm -hmm. it's only eight minutes away too. So like if, even if you didn't feel like waiting for the shuttle and you wanted to like Uber, it's not insane. But the the shuttles are they're in and out. Like they're they have a lot of shuttles. So you probably would wouldn't mind waiting for one. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard from my buddy Sean. He said. Before you can even say hello, there's another bus ready to take you. I'm like exactly, yeah. So they're on, they're on top of it, and the buses are cool. They have like their their IPs on there and stuff. Like one's like a Shrek bus, and you know they look pretty cool. Mm. Wow, you know you're really selling. I think I'll go tomorrow. I'm yeah, book my book. <laughs> this yeah, is great, man. Well, thank you so much for being on the channel. Your channel debut. Yeah, great. Really. I love being here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Where can everyone find you? Again, share that Twitch. Oh, yeah, you can find me on Twitch, just Wicked Virtue, just like it's spelled right here. Same as YouTube. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram, too, Wicked, but those are Wicked underscore Virtue underscore. So, yeah, but if you if you go to one of my channels, you'll find my LinkedIn uh, link, and everything's there. <laughs> Perfect, and of course, Subscribe to this channel for some cool theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.